Welcome back, my fellow farmers, to the fourth episode of our farming simulator experience. We're doing quite well, although our harvester is missing quite a lot of area, which I'm not a major fan of. What the hell is our AI doing over here? We hiring you for doing all that? Are you serious? Oh, stop, thankfully. I was wondering, what the hell is this harvester doing? What I should do, we're playing at 120 times speed, so things grow a little bit quicker, but we should just go ahead and pick up these little puffs of canola that the AI leaves. Oh, look at that. And just while we're about to get it, it pretty much all dies out. That's a bit of a tease. Oh. Okay, so why is the last row like... I don't understand this. All right, what we should do is go ahead and do this by ourselves. So we don't hire that hopeless worker again. Straighten him out so I can go on the straight and narrow on this side. Hire a worker, there we go. That should be perfect. So, now what we need to do is go ahead and get some more canola. Although the prices are going down. Canola always sells really well at the end. We should do this. Yeah, it always sells fantastically at the end. And everywhere else it doesn't sell as well. And what we should do is probably go get some more barley up the mill because that's selling quite well. So time down so we can make good use of those prices. Fourteen ninety two for barley is really good I'd say. Yeah and barley I've noticed as well that barley sells really well at the mill. Whereas canola sells well at the end. And then the potatoes and sugar beets are just to be honest they aren't really that good. In terms of uh, per ton, price per ton. But I'm sure the density of them is actually quite useful. I'm sure there has to be some. Oh god, someone's calling me. Well, let me just put my phone away so no one can hear. Hopefully that doesn't get too intrusive. There's some more eggs. Um, what I need to do is actually put millies over here. So we need to go ahead and go over that way. And with our goal for this mission, or this episode, so uh, what I'm doing is trying to have a, at least a goal for every episode so we know what we're doing. Well, what we're trying to aim for is aiming for, well, actually canola price went up as well so let's just slow time even more to real time so I can make good use of that canola price. Uh, but what our, my aim at least is, is to get a bigger tipper so I don't have to do as many journeys because it's kind of annoying having to go from A to B to, you know, driving all this time. I thought I had it on maximum cruise control. Obviously not, because it was a bit slow. But yeah, we need about 24 grand, I think it was. Let's actually check the shop. Oh, sometimes as well, they do have uh, special prices. Let's see if we can spot anything just yet. Now, yeah, sometimes you have like 10% off, off of vehicles. These things are absolute behemoths. It's kind of cool how they look. These massive tractors, but it doesn't seem like the game wants to be selling us anything at a special discounted price. Unfortunately, let's go back to the trailers, or tippers. There we go. So yeah, we're going for the Gilbert. But what I did buy is I bought the Crampe Big Body 900. And that thing is so damn tall, it doesn't even... Uh, like the pipe for the harvester that we currently have is about two times too small for this massive tipper. It's pretty amusing. Hopefully, I think this one will be actually quite good as well. How much is that? That's 17,500 tons. What? This is Big Body Tan and Body Tipper. is currently our best selling trailer to mid sized agricultural operators, hooking up to 80 to 125 horsepower tracks combines high transport capacities with a very low dead weight and excellent running gear. Really? To be honest, I don't care about the advantages of that, I just care about the loading volume. So the Gilbert 1800 is much better. Why does this have a roof over the top of it? 
the measure of things our top sellers set standards in the class in this class yeah the Gilbert seems like it's really good value for money so we'll just go ahead and stick with that and it's the second cheapest one there as well so I'm not gonna be complaining especially once we have don't have to do as many journeys around I also last episode I had to turn off the missions so we don't have them pestering us because we can't complete most of them. Actually, we can't complete any of them. There's only two types. You need the front loader and a pallet fork to complete one set of missions, or you have to have a grass mower to complete the other set of missions. And both of them, we can't complete. Or at least those are the, those are the two types that I have seen so far. Okay, 25 grand yes that is more than enough fantastic so what I'll do right now is we'll actually drive to the shop because we want to go ahead and sell this tipper and if you sell it up at the shop you get I think 70% off the price instead of 50% okay, this is definitely a dodgy looking tipper it's obviously a bit rusty as well wouldn't be the most hygienic to be carrying around your uh, crop around to be honest but I guess what the consumer doesn't know doesn't hurt them what I haven't seen yet are like uh, little mini game type of things well maybe not a mini game but little secret easter egg maybe types of things such as uh, in the 2011 version we had a cable car which we could go up which I was kind of chuffed by that's kind of cool Unfortunately, we don't have anything of the sort so far. I haven't seen anything like that. But now they've given us lots of things to play around with, so I'm not going to complain too much. I wonder if we can light that fireplace or something. It's also a good tractor. It goes pretty fast. But compared to... Oh, what the hell is that white stuff? That's a rock. So then we'll be able to like go ahead and get all our canola and delivery all in one go. Meanwhile, how are you guys going? We just still it up. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, if we drive at cruise control one, we can still drive pretty normally. Let's just drive over here to the side. That <laughs> wheelie in style. Sorry, I didn't know I was in your way. So back to you, so I can go ahead and sell our tipper and get the new one. I wonder of course like what the DLC will be, if there will be a Platinum Edition as well. I'd be interested if anyone knows anything, if any of my subscribers, if you guys know anything or have read any news if there will be any specific DLC. Not just like extra machines, because I can just get that with mods, but there'll be a large DLC such as maybe the Platinum Edition, which wasn't really DLC, but a full game. But Yeah, so what we have to do is we drive over here like so, get out, and we'll go over here, press R to sell vehicle directly, and look at that, oh, it actually came up perfectly. Crone Emsland, yes, I want to sell that. So instead of, let's go P, so instead of selling it for 24, 2450 we sell it for I think 2950 900 so let's go ahead and sell that thank you and now what I should do is go to P buy the Gilbert buy thank you and hey presto hopefully hopefully a harvester will be uh, able to it's yeah it should be able to go ahead and deliver the goods if not that's just going to be quite embarrassing but it doesn't look like look like we need any weights which is also very handy hopefully we don't get stuck 
No, I can do. You can cheat a little bit. <laughs> what you can do, if you're sick and tired of driving, uh, you can just go ahead and reset next selected vehicle at all. Reset that. And reset this. Okay. And now just go tab your way to them. There we go. And look at that. Here we are at the farm with him. Just saves a bit of time. If anyone is in the mood for that. It's not really cheating, just exploiting, I'd say, the game. Okay. So let's go ahead and see if the harvester will be able to go ahead and get its pipe into this tipper. It should. I've no reason to believe otherwise, but you never know. Well, it's actually looking quite sketchy. Okay, so we press O to bring the pipe out. Oh, only just, I think. Yes. Oh, how beautiful. That's music to my ears. Okay. We don't really have much to harvest though at all. So we should speed up time. Okay, now we should straighten ourselves out. I'm really happy that that works out perfectly. Because we don't want to invest in something that costs so much and then it not be useful at all. There we go. Actually, I slowed down, down time for the canola, didn't I? Maybe we should slow down time just a little bit. Go ahead and get the rest of the canola. Ooh, it's lagging up a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and probably record about two hours today just because I, f I feel like just farming for the sake of farming. It's just so addictive. Like. The way you build up your farm is just so fun. It's so well done. It's such a simple concept, but it's really, really addictive. Let's go ahead and get the rest of our canola. Let's see how much we've actually got. 8,000 more tons. See, that's almost like twice what we had in the previous tipper, and this isn't even, this is almost a, only a third way in. It's really good. You know what? I think what I'll do is actually speed time back up and just wait until the canola goes back up in price. Because it's going down. Potatoes and sugar beets are okay, but you know what? We'll actually wait for some more giant demands because we haven't actually had any. Also, there is it comes up on the PDA that there is a giant demand. Oh, there we go. Great, great demand for wheat. Okay, that's good. Slow down time. And... How much wheat do we have? God, I keep on going over it. Wheat seems statistics. Oh, we actually have a fair amount of wheat. Nice. Okay, so we'll go ahead and deliver back all of this canola. Because we don't need it right now. A bit premature, to be honest. So you go ahead and get all this canola. and We weren't really going to sell it off. So wheat is the one on the very left. I remember back in the good old days of 2011, I had no idea what I was doing, what these symbols were. Thankfully now I'm a seasoned veteran, seasoned farmer. Oh, I don't want to... It's not even unloading properly, okay. okay. It's going to be bloody brilliant. So yeah, we pretty much hit our goal of what we wanted to do this episode. It's only two thirds of the way full. That's a lot of uh, oh, leaders that it can hold, which is great. So where exactly are we selling it to? Actually, what's the nice feature is that on the map, if you can see it sort of, it should be flashing, although we can't see anything flashing now. But usually if there is a great demand, where you need to sell it on the map is usually flashing, which is nice. So it's up at the mill, which is great. And if we keep on pressing 9, there we go. It shows us wheat is selling for 1.7 times more than it usually sells for. And we've got 24 hours remaining of that, but we can actually speed time up a lot more. 
because we're definitely going to get there in a day's time. We don't have any more wheat, so we can't exploit this great demand anymore. Doesn't look like canola's grown any further, which is a bit disappointing. I think the sower on the uh, second field is done, so that's nice. We'll be able to get some more canola. And yeah, on that massive field, which costs a hundred grand, I'll go ahead and get some wheat. So then we'll be able to at least start thinking about some other things. Maybe cows, maybe possibly cows. And yeah. Also, what is nice, I have been looking at the map a little bit closely. Let's keep on going to the map. Oh, there we go, it is flashing. As you can see where the mill is, it is flashing, so it's telling us where the great demand is, which is a nice feature. Uh, but if you can see where the cow field is, near field 35, field 35 is in the perfect position to go ahead and place grass. Like it's just so perfect because cows need the grass, so what we can do is just buy a mower, seed some grass on field 35 and just keep giving the, uh, the grass to the cows, which is quite handy. I must say. And grass goes by really quickly, but this whole map is just filled with grass, which we can actually use as well. But we're almost where we need to be. I have noticed as this uh, tractor goes a little bit slow with all the crop in it. Okay, now our money should explode now. How much are we actually making for this? Wow, we actually, oh, 43 grand. We're well on our way to the new field. Probably actually get it quite soon. Okay, so yeah, great demands are very, very good to exploit. Especially once you're in a bit like, say, mid game, uh, it's probably best to just wait for the great demands because we'll have a, like, about, I don't know, I'd say 500 grand or so in mid game. So it's just probably best to wait and save up and conserve your crops and then just exploit the living daily outside of the great demands so you can make like the maximum amount of money possible. Because that was a lot and that wasn't even a full truckload, a typical load. Okay, but meanwhile, okay. This sucks so much. I can only can never grow properly. Oh, well. not much I can do about that. There is there. Okay. Now you need to go all the way back to the farm. I think actually if we go here, some of these massive tippers, how much, 55,000 litres, 61,000 litres, yeah wow, imagine selling, what, pretty much three times more than we currently are selling, oh wow, and we, oh, that would be just so much money, that's where you get your millions of dollars from, because you do need millions of dollars for your, your wind farm go ahead and create electricity to sell it back off into the power grid but hopefully you guys are enjoying these half hour long episodes it's a bit different to the oh, speed cruise control uh, it's a little bit different compared to my farming simulator back in those days I only did like 15 minute episodes because YouTube back in the day only allowed you to upload that much until like you were a respected or you had lots of subscribers or something like that so I think it's time to move you out of the way. We're all fertilized, which is nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this little area. Are you gonna do the rest or what? I think he is, nice. Good on him. Let's speed time just up a little bit. Well, two times faster than it was previously because it goes from 60 to 120 times. 
Okay, let's unhire that worker. Turn off the man. Do all of this. Go. So we haven't been harvesting much manually, so I've got to start doing that a little bit more. Also, it's a bit more fun. It's a bit more uh, engaging than just getting a hire work, hiring a worker and getting them to do it all for you. So we can go cruise control too. I think that's going to be a bit too fast. Perfect. And that's first person mode because this is out in the open, this vehicle. So there is no windshields or anything to stop the dust from getting into our eyes. That's kind of, yeah, it's kind of dangerous, sort of, in a way. Maybe not dangerous, but it wouldn't be the healthiest to get all those dust particles in your lungs either. But then again, I don't think the hardcore farmers really care. Still left a little bit. I want this field to grow. This little section. There we go, that's growing nicely. Why can't you grow as nicely? Wow, it was just 2,200 at the mill. Wow, that was a lot more than I think we even sold ours for. Actually, what I can do is go back to map selection and it shows us how ready it is to harvest. It's still in the light green, so that's all good on field 15. So it's not close to withering away yet. Because we don't want to withered away crop, that's no fun. I just don't understand why this can't grow. What is this? It's so weird. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to just leave this area alone. And actually, what we'll do is we'll start cultivating this area because by the time. Yeah, So hire a worker, and let's start cultivating. So we, oh god, really? We have to cultivate to buy. You coming up here? We're stuck, really? Oh, do you have everything attached? Now we do. Go ahead and reverse, and the cultivator is all the way over there. You don't want to attach, you still want me to straighten myself out even more. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and cultivate this field and by the time this trailer gets like tractor gets anywhere near where the canola is right now, then we'll be all done with it. Okay. There we go, the canola is all ready. Okay, you're all done, so let's go ahead and get our tipper. We actually slow time down just a little bit. Yeah, this is pretty much how you make my Oh, Canola's selling for a really nice amount, 2,500 per ton. That's really good.
but I now I'll get you to just go ahead and finish that area off and yeah we'll definitely harvest all of this before that cultivator finishes. What I could do as well is I could go ahead and try to actually that's a good idea. I'd go ahead and do this no worker. Hopefully he knows what he's doing. He's going to continue. Yes, he is. Nice. Slow time down even more. Seven. Keep on trying to press minus key to slow time down, but that doesn't work. Now, I want this vehicle. Uh, unfortunately, we can't put on the weights. Hopefully this will work. Hopefully you won't tip over or anything. Oh, you do. Um... Hmm. Not much I can really do. How about we can lower the plow pressing B? Yeah. That sort of works. Yeah, that works. We're plowing cement, but okay. So what I'll try to do is I'll use the new function of uh, creating, like, press O to allow code fields. So we'll create a massive field between Fields 15 and 16, I think they were. Yep. I don't know in this field. No shit. It's good that they actually tell us that though. You wouldn't want to be wasting all your time just working on the field and then it not working out. Well, I don't think plowing this is actually the best idea, but <laughs> that's not too much, thankfully. Uh, let's press O, see what that does. Uh-huh. So I can go ahead and create this. Uh, I'll see what that does. What if we'll hire a worker? What's he going to do? Is he going to magically turn around? Nope, 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 stop, stop. Alright, he stopped creating the fields, so we have to create the fields manually. That's still useful. Oh, 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 oh. Destroying some good crop. Oh well. Okay, now harvest is all done. So, let's unhire that worker. Turn it back on. Full steam ahead. We can go ahead and get to work on that, that field, and then, um, yeah. All will be well. So we're still cultivating over here. We need to cultivate that top right area. We did neglect it quite a little bit. Are you going to get this little area on the right? So we just, oh, it's going to be like a straight line that we're going to leave. Oh, well. And our tip probably is in the way. Oh, nice. It's still doing a little bit. Actually, our canola was selling for a good amount, wasn't it? Yeah, it still is for a good amount. Let's slow time down and go ahead and try to sell our canola. How much do we have? Still have a fair bit. But we don't have anywhere near enough to go ahead and buy this field yet. I'm sure we'll have enough soon. Just not yet. But I'm really happy with the way things are going. I really can't complain. Everything is going quite well. So next episode, our goal is going to be to go ahead and get enough money to go ahead and buy that other field. Now, can always over here. Alrighty, so I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll go ahead and drive over to the mill uh, without recording so I don't bore you guys too much. Hands up, we'll be back with a lot more money very shortly guys. Hopefully you are enjoying this whole 
series let's play I certainly am I'm really enjoying building up my farm we've got a uh, few new tools and things to play around with of course a new field as well and new tipper and lots of money now instead of just the uh, little crummy amount that they gave us at the beginning but thanks for watching guys thanks for supporting the series so far and hopefully here's to many more episodes that you guys enjoy